Hi guys, welcome to a details video with my beautiful Chase by Bonnie Brown. So hi guys, I'm here with my beautiful new Chase by Bonnie Brown and she is magnetized but I do have a um, I actually found it easier to use a uh, modified pacifier so that's what she's using um, so I'm sending her home with this but she is magnified or magnetized for a pacifier as well um, and she's got beautiful combi hair I'm gonna brush it for you guys so you can listen and see it in more detail beautiful little headband on so I know that so many people have seen this sculpt obviously as a boy but I was really as soon as I put her together I was like oh my goodness she's a little girl so I was like I have to bring a little girl to life in this kit I think she is just the absolute most darling little baby girl she's got beautiful blushing she's got so many beautiful details that I want to get into but I'm going to show you guys her hair first um, because it's right now dry styled and I wanted to show you guys um, that she has beautiful painted textured hair and then beautiful rooted hair on top. And all my babies go home now with their own um, mist, styling mist uh, to keep the hair nice and conditioned and a little styling toothbrush as well. And then this just keeps the hair really pristine. And I include care instructions on how to best care for mohair, but if you're sort of new to my channel, um, just basically you want to make sure that the hair is moisturized um, every time it basically looks a little dry so I tend to style the baby's hair with styling mist like once a week sometimes if you're doing a lot of changing um, otherwise you can do it a little less frequent than that um, but basically you just want to maintain the mohair so that it is nice and moisturized because it isn't human hair obviously um, that creates its own oils on the scalp. So you want to kind of mimic that with the conditioning spray that keeps the mohair nice and pristine and then it'll never break or anything like that. And I recommend that for any time there's a full head of hair uh, or any even combi. So as I kind of always talk about with my combi hair, um, the best part about combi is basically that you never have to uh, worry about styling it. It always lays perfect. Um, it adds that little fluffy third dimension to hair. You don't have to worry about the hair breaking on the back of the head, like, um, you know, taking care of it by like laying the head up or on a piece of plastic or anything like that because it's painted. Um, so that's always nice. And then you can style it, you know, only if you want to kind of style it. So I love that about the versatility of combi hair. It adds that beautiful realistic dimension and just adds a really beautiful, um, realism to the baby so I'm gonna show you guys the beautiful details on this baby so I think I'm gonna start at the bottom today so um, I have included another video of her on uh, layette as well so that you'll be able to see she's on a non-jointed body the one that she came with um, a full limb baby girl and she doesn't have an anatomical t tummy plate or anything like that. I just have this on for pictures, um, but I can include a belly plate on request as well. This is just the standard one I use with all my babies to shoot with. So I'm going to start at her feeties. She's got beautiful, long, beautiful curly legs. If you know anything about Bonnie's sculpting, her sculpting is literally incredible. The realism is always just amazing. And like, there's no detail that she sort of overlooked in the realism of her sculpting, um, which I just love. Such a natural pose and like the curl of each individual toe and every wrinkle, it's just exceptional. So she's got beautiful, little feeties and again she's sealed and textured as well the side of her foot and I went with sort of a is like a one month old so she doesn't have a heel prick or anything like that but <gasps> nice little pink footies <laughs> And she is the Chase uh, first edition of this sculpt. So if you wanted to know what edition she is, she is the first edition Chase. 
I'm not sure what edition size we're at now with her um, because she went out of stock for a little while. I'm not sure if she's back now. Gorgeous little legs. And <laughs> she looks so realistic. Look, she's like, I'm so tired. Let me go to sleep. <laughs> so she's got gorgeous little hands and arms. And again, she's got full arms just like her leggies. And again, the detail and realism and proportion on this kit is just amazing. And the thing that I did was a special technique on um, on her nails to give her really three-dimensional nail tips that really sort of peek up off the sculpt. I can't, I'm hoping that my macro lens will catch it because I'm not sure I'll be able to film it. Let's see her gorgeous little nails. So realistic, sort of like lifted off of her her nail, or her, her uh, sculpt, I should say. <laughs> and her other little hand. Oh, this one's easier to pick up the details for. And again, two little close fists. Every pose I put her in, she's so real. Like, look. Oh, I love this baby. And I love her little open mouth. So I really wanted to accentuate that. So it looks like she's been sucking on her lips. She's got um, a little bit of dry skin blister, a milk blister on her lip, like from sucking on her lips or her bottle, or nursing, <laughs> kind of looks like that. And beautiful open mouth, glossing, and depth, faux open nose. Gorgeous, her cheeks, her blushing on her cheeks and her nose. She's got, um, I'm gonna show you guys her little milia, if we can catch it. It's a very, very subtle milia. And she does have a little bit of sleep in the corner of her eyes. Of course, her beautiful textured and painted brows, rooted lashes, a little bit of dewy effect on her eyelids. Oh, her lip blister is picking up so well right now. <laughs> and as I mentioned, her hair but I'll show you guys some of the details really close up in her hair. The side of her hair, she's got beautiful little ears. And Bonnie just sculpts the most gorgeous ears on all her kits. I've said this before and it's just like, it's so stunning. It's always such a joy to paint because she literally already has like a um, ear canal. So I just accentuated that with a faux ear. Oop. On the side of her little head. Gorgeous little ears. And of course, her little swirl. It doesn't matter what angle I photograph her at, she looks so realistic, so adorable. Such a sweet little baby girl. <laughs> so yeah, my little baby Chase as a baby girl um, is now available. When you see this, I think she'll be listed in the shop because I'm planning to get her listed so she can be available um, mid next week. I'm filming this on a Friday. Uh, so I'm hoping to have her listed next week, finally, uh, to those who've already inquired and been on the early bird list. Uh, but I will be doing the early bird listing as well. So if you want to get on that list for future babies, you can email me at dolls at gmail.com, uh, subject line early bird, uh, so that you don't miss out on any cute babas in the future. And I will show you guys a little bit more from her photo shoot. Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining me for this details video and you'll see you in another video. Bye! <laughs>